Okay, welcome for back for video three. And in this one, we're going to talk about clustered shared volumes. Uh, clustered shared volumes is a new feature in 2008 R2, which basically allows you to use a uh, SAN based um, volume for your uh, cluster, but uses a service which creates a shared area on each server as a as a sort of mount point for for this actual storage space so first thing we need to do is enable uh, CSV so we'll right click enable cluster shared volumes it says obviously here that you have to do it with the Windows 2008 R2 um, reproduction and storage of files on cluster shared volumes that were not created by the Hyper-V role including any user or application data, data stored under the cluster storage directory the system drive on every node are not supported um, so if you start creating files in that um, storage space then uh, it's not um, supported so click OK and it's enabled and we've got this extra option here cluster shared volumes so we uh, want to right click and add some storage we've only got the one disk left so we'll tick that click OK it's adding the actual disk and it's th done so there's the actual uh, location as you'll notice what you've actually got there now is a uh, a path there to the C drive cluster storage volume 1 so if we just have a look at the local C drive of uh, Hyper-V1 so there's the folder cluster storage volume 1 nothing on there now what that actually points to is the shared storage area on the SAN and that location C cluster storage volume 1 will appear on each one of your Hyper-V servers so so with cluster shared volumes what happens is that um, if you put any service or application in place so say a Hyper-V server any files that you put into the C C drive cluster storage volume 1 area are actually stored on the SAN not physically on your local C drive okay so that's cluster um, cluster shared storage next step we're going to do is actually install the Hyper-V role um, and create a uh, Hyper-V server which is highly available so uh, check back in and back for video 4 which will be all about the Hyper-V role